If you only find your first blockchain job, you need to have a portfolio of blockchain projects. But most people make the same mistake. In their portfolio, they only have a super simple project from YouTube or some Udemy courses. It's not going to work. If you want to find a blockchain job, you need to have some advanced project in your blockchain portfolio. So in this video, I'm going to give you five project ideas so that you can build an awesome blockchain portfolio and find your first blockchain job. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. And before we continue, I'd like to make a quick reference to my course DAP30 where we build 30 decentralized application on Ethereum. So we build the smart contract, the test and the front end. So that's a very quick and efficient way to build your blockchain portfolio. So the first project I did is a wallet. So a wallet allows you to spend your ether. So a wallet can be very simple if you just handle ether, but what we want is something a little bit more advanced. So one idea is to make the wallet able to handle yes 20 tokens. You will have a list of all the yes 20 tokens that were configured and for each token you'll have the balance. You can also add an auto investing feature where every time we send some Ether or yes, 20 token to the wallet, the wallet automatically invests these assets into some DeFi protocol so that you can earn some interest on them exactly like in a saving account. If you're interested in this, check my other video on Yearn Finance. And you can also add integration with other DeFi protocol like Compound, for example, that's what the Argent wallet does. And the last idea to make your wallet more interesting is that you can build it as a mobile app by using React Native, for example. So let's move on to the next idea. So the next project is a decentralized autonomous organization or just DAO. So DAO are a smart contract that allow you to manage the governance of any organization or entities. So in a DAO, you have participants who have tokens in a DAO and with this token, you can vote to allocate the money that is inside the DAO or you can vote to take any sort of decision that is relevant to the organization of the DAO. So for example, if this is a DAO of a DeFi project, you can vote for the evolution of the DeFi protocol. So in the role of decentralized finance, we see more and more DeFi projects that start to use DAOs for the governance. That's why I believe that as a blockchain developer, this is super important that you understand how a DAO works and it's pretty much a required project in your blockchain portfolio. And there is one blockchain project that focuses on DAOs, that's Aragon. So in your learning of DAO, you should absolutely check out Aragon. Next project. The next idea is a decentralized Dropbox. So with this project, you'll be able to store data on the blockchain. You can support different type of files like PDF, MP3, images, etc. So the big advantage of this is that nobody can censor your data. So the way it will work is that you will store the actual data like images or something that can take a lot of space. You will store this not on the blockchain, but you will store this on IPFS, which is a decentralized network for storage. And on the blockchain, you'll have a smart contract that stores some hashes that reference the data that is stored on IPFS. So that way you still benefit from the security of the blockchain, but at the same time, you don't spend too much money storing a lot of data on the blockchain. Okay, so let's move on to the next ID. The next ID is a decentralized eBay. So it will work similarly to eBay where you have sellers who can sell some items and you have buyers who participate into some auctions. But instead of having the code on a centralized server, it will be in smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. So buyers and sellers will be identified by addresses but if you want to make it more interesting, you can make an integration with Ethereum name services. So you will replace the Ethereum addresses by some human friendly strings, very similar to URL. Okay, next ID. So the next ID, which is, I believe the most interesting one is a decentralized exchange. So with a decentralized exchange, 
you can buy or sell ES20 tokens in a decentralized way through a smart contract on the blockchain. So you don't have any middleman, so nobody can censor your trade. Also, in terms of security, it's much better than a centralized exchange because all the logic is inside a smart contract, but there are no private keys. So it's much more difficult for hackers to steal the funds of the smart contract, provided there are no bugs in the smart contract, of course. So there are different possible designs for your decentralized exchanges. And if you want to learn more about this, I have another video on my channel that explains the different generation of decentralized exchanges. What's really cool with the decentralized exchange is that this is a DeFi project and now blockchain on Ethereum, it's mainly about DeFi. So that's why I think this is a very relevant project. So if you want to have more ideas of blockchain project, you can check out the curriculum of my course DAB30, where we build 30 decentralized applications on Ethereum, smart contract, test and front end for each of them. And of course, after you've built so many projects, you are sure that your blockchain portfolio will be rock solid and it will be much easier to find your first blockchain job. And if you're not ready yet to build your blockchain portfolio, I recommend to start by learning Solidity, the programming language for Ethereum smart contract. And for that, check out my tutorial here on my channel. I'll see you there.